Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Hayya 'ala as-salah Hayya 'ala as-salah Hayya 'ala al-falah Hayya 'ala al-falah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar La ilaha illa Allah إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مدل لا وما يدلل فلا هادي لا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد فإن أستك الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار Certainly all the praise and all of the glorification and all of the dedication and magnification should be to Allah and Allah alone. I inwardly and I outwardly, without any compulsion, without any coercion, bear witness to La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, salawatullahi wa Are we Muslim by chance or Muslim by choice. Akhan al al Fadil sitting here in the front row and myself, we embraced Islam coming from a different background than many of my brothers here. We chose Islam. And when we chose Islam, our families gave us a very hard time for choosing to be Muslim. Some of the sacrifices that we have made over the years, only Allah he knows. Are we Muslim by chance? Are we Muslim by choice? Many of us, if you were to say to the Muslim, what is a chance? Chance is the occurrence and the development of events into the absence of any of the obvious design or plan. Choice. 
an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities. We look at our Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we hear the news coming out of the lands of the Muslims. We hear the news coming out of England and North America. We find that many people unfortunately are leaving Islam. But that's not talked about. We only talk about when Sally or Susie or Mike or Bob, they become Muslim. And we've said this many times before, we get very happy. We put everybody in front of the microphone, in front of the camera for a photo op. Alhamdulillah, Islam is great. See, one person accepted Islam. How many people are leaving Islam, my dear brothers? Are we Muslim by chance or Muslim by choice? We have a choice, brothers. But some of us, we think we only have a chance. We have a choice to be nice to our neighbors. We have a choice to pray, a choice to fast, a choice to give zakat, a choice to give sadaqah, a choice to make tahajjud. And as some brothers, they reminded me that if you're trying to do this type of da'wah and you're not making the tahajjud, then you're playing with this da'wah. May Allah help us all to make tahajjud every day, inshallah ta'ala. Also, we have the chance, the choice to make hajj or umrah if we have the ability. We have the choice to study religion. We have the choice to serve the mosque, the choice to serve humanity, the choice to serve the parents. Some children, they think, you know what? I'm going to let my eldest, my eldest brother look after my mom. Or I'm going to let my youngest sister look after my mom or my dad. No, we have the choice to get those others too. So when we look at the situation, brothers, you do not have a chance to pay your bills. You do not have a chance to pay your traffic tickets. You do not have a chance not to pay the gas bill in the wintertime. You do not have a chance to pay rent. You do not have a chance to pay car insurance. You do not have a chance to buy warm clothing. You do not have a chance to buy groceries. You do not have a chance to buy soup and toothpaste and shampoo and hygienic stuff. You only have a choice. When you go to the buffet, you have a choice to pick what you want. When you go to a fast food restaurant, menu one, two, three, or four, you have a choice. When you go to the grocery store, you can pick out whatever you want. If you like Rice Krispies, you can pick Rice Krispies. If you like Cocoa Puffs, you can pick Cocoa Puffs. If you like shredded wheat, you can pick whatever you want. You have a choice. If you go to the shoe store, you have a choice on the shoes that you can select. Yeah, Juan, some were born in the Middle East, some were born in Africa, some were born in India, some were born in North America. None of us had a choice where we would be born. When we look at the situation, Yeah, Juan, life is about chances or choices. The question comes, do we choose to win or choose to lose? Looking at this, Yeah, Juan, the biggest blessing that we have is to be Muslim. To live as a Muslim and to die as a Muslim. tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun. That's a choice. Qala Allah Ta'ala, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahirrahmanir Rahim, wa in tu'uddu ni'matullahi wa la tuhsuha. Allah Ta'ala goes on to say, in Surah Ta Ibrahim, if you count the blessings of Allah, never will you be able to count them. You'll never be able to count them. But Ya Ikhwan, we know that Islam is a great ni'mah that Allah Ta'ala has given us, Ya Ikhwan. And looking at some of the ni'mah, I tried to write down a few. Allah says you'll never be able to enumerate them all. Here's a few for you. We have been given the blessing of seeing, hearing, talking, walking, working, feeling, breathing, helping others, the ability of laughter, clean water, to be able to think properly, having all of our faculties, shelter, food, clothing, shoes, strength, transportation, healthcare products, a good society where we're safe, clean air. We have also been given the blessing of education, family, wealth, generational wealth. Your father leaves you some inheritance. Every provision, Ya Ikhwan, that you could possibly think of. Risk, life's comforts, property, limbs, Ya Ikhwan. 
civilization where things aren't going crazy, where people are robbing and shooting and killing. In general, that happens every once in a while in the city of Toronto and some other cities. But it's not an everyday occurrence like it is in many other places. We have also been given spiritual provision, ya ikhwan. Also patience. Also wisdom. Also generosity. And something called barakah, ya ikhwan. I know Muslims that have lots of money. I know non-Muslims that have lots of money. The question comes, do we got barakah in our money? The concept of barakah, when's the last time we asked Allah to put barakah in our rizq? MashaAllah, you can have $10 million in your bank and it can have no barakah, ya ikhwan. I met a brother who was, they told me he was a multi-millionaire. He lived his whole life. Surely he had the money to make hajj, but he never went. He had the financial ability and at one time he had the health to go. But some of his money was questionable, ya ikhwan. And Allah did not invite him to the house. And ya ikhwan, the blessing of shukr, gratefulness, ya ikhwan. What are the things that we have been grateful for? We should take a list with our children out today for those fathers that have children and write down every single thing that you're grateful for. For me, ya ikhwan, I called my mom for almost an hour and a half yesterday. I couldn't reach her. She was sleeping and she's getting older and I'm worried about her health. I called her more than 12 times. I even talked to my brother here. I can't reach my mom. I talked to my son. I can't reach my mom. And some thoughts started to come into my mind, ya ikhwan. Think about the blessing of your parents that you have. And you have the chance and the choice to help your parents and to look after them. And how many Muslims, ya ikhwan, as me and the brother, we know of stories before we've seen Muslim kids, believe it or not, get into conflict in strife with their father and their mother. And we know of some Muslim kids that have taken their fists and punched their mom or father in the face. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. We don't need Muslims like this, ya ikhwan, that are abusive to their parents. So we look at it, ya ikhwan, I have seen converts leave Islam. And it's very sad after some time. But how many born Muslims, ya ikhwan, have left Islam? Or, ya ikhwan, they don't practice Islam anymore. And I can remember I met some Muslims in Detroit about 20 years ago. And me and some brothers that I was rolling with, we were dressed just like this. And I seen a girl with the name Lucy Muhammad. And I said to her, oh, you're Muslim? Salaamu Alaikum. She goes, I'm not Muslim. My grandfather, he was a Muslim, but I'm not Muslim. So brothers, the faith that we have, many of us, we came to this society here for the milk and the honey, but be careful we don't lose our Islam, Ya Ikhwan. So Ya Ikhwan, if we want to change the fruits, we have to change the roots, Ya Ikhwan. We're talking about Muslim upbringing, tarbiyah, tasfiya, and tazkiyah. We're talking about sanitizing the Islamic understanding of Islam. Cultivation, bringing up the children and rearing them upon that, and purification, ya ikhwan. What really is Islam? Do we really know? If you have, ya ikhwan, roaches in the wall here, roaches, and our only thing for us to do, brothers, is to take a can of paint and to cover it up and make it look good, then ya ikhwan, we're failing massively. And this is something, yeah, brothers, coming in as a new Muslim, trying to learn what Islam is and what culture is. And we respect everybody's culture, but we didn't come into Islam for any, anybody else's culture, but we only want kitab and sunnah. We made that sacrifice, brothers, to be Muslim, to be your brother, to be treated as an equal in the house of Allah. So when we look at the situation, my dear brothers, there are some ayat that we hope that we can remind the brothers of you can find them, bin Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala, He has said in this Quran, إِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا ثُمَّ آمَنُوا ثُمَّ كَفَرُوا ثُمَّ أَزْدَادُوا كُفْرًا لَمْ يَكُونِ اللَّهُ لِيَغْفِرَ اللَّهُمْ وَلَا لِيَهْدِيَهُمْ سَبِيلًا Indeed, those who have believed, then they disbelieved. Then they believed, then they disbelieved. 
and then increased in their disbelief, never will Allah forgive them, nor will they guide them the right way. Brothers, I know people who have left Islam. And we went back and we asked, we did some due diligence to find out why did these people, all of them had the same excuse. The Muslims were treating us bad. The Muslims robbed from me. The Muslims stole from me. The Muslim did horrible things to me. So yeah, when people that come into Islam or are born into Islam, they want to equate Islam with the Muslims, which is two different things. Islam is the deen and we're supposed to be practitioners of the deen. So if I do something wrong, Ya Ikhwan, unfortunately, I am looked at as a person who is the person who's supposed to be practicing Islam. Now if I do something good, as you know in North American society, if I take a little old lady and I bring her across the street, that's not going to be on the front page news. But if I push that old lady down, that will be in the front page news. So when we look at the situation, Ya Ikhwan, we have to do better than what we're doing. Are we Muslim by chance or Muslim by choice? أقول كل هذا استغفرت لك وسلم سمي في استغفروه إنه فرح الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا إن هدانا الله In popular culture, you've heard the slogan, I don't have a choice, or I got a choice. Give me another chance. We still have a chance to do some good. We still have a chance to change. Choose right from wrong. I will choose who I am. My dear brothers, we didn't bring much ayat from the book or many hadith today, but this one ayat, inshallah ta'ala, it's something that we asked and we challenged the brothers to go up and look the tafsir up. Call Allah Ta'ala, وَكُلِ الْحَقِّ وَكُلِ الْحَقِّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَالْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَالْيَقْفُرُ Call Allah Ta'ala and say the truth is from your Lord. So whoever wills to believe, then they believe. And whoever wills to disbelieve, then they disbelieve. So, Ya Khwan, we've been hearing, like we've said before, reports coming out of the different Muslim countries, how the youth, Ya Khwan, and we're talking about anywhere from 12 to university age. Right now, Ya Khwan, they want to be over here in North America so badly, Ya Khwan. They want the North American lifestyle. And if I was to take a survey right now, all the brothers that are freezing here, minus 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I heard on the radio today. If I were to say to the brothers, would you like to be over right now in the Middle East or in Africa or somewhere warm? I'm pretty sure everybody would put up their hand. People want to come over here and live this so-called lifestyle. And alhamdulillah, people that were from here, me and my brother, we came into Islam. Our whole life, we were hoping to go over to the Muslim countries. But sometimes, Ya Ikhwan, we see that our brothers are saying, hey, the Muslim countries aren't that good. Why are the Muslim countries aren't that good, brothers? We want to always place it on the leadership, but at the same time, the followers, we're not the best of people. Because some of us are Muslims by chance, and some of us are Muslim by choice. Some of us, we choose not to come to the masjid. For whatever reason. I was talking to three brothers in the last month. They are choosing not to come to Jumu'ah. And these are good practicing brothers. I only know good about them. Because there's spaces between the brothers, they said, no, until things go back to the way it used to be, I choose not to come to the masjid. And I tried to talk to these brothers. Say, Akhi, your brothers are there. They want to see you. They want to give you salams. Maybe go eat something with you. No, no, no. If Islam is not the way I like it, I choose to stay away. Ya yeah, everybody has their own mind. But let us not have a narrow mind, Ya Ikhwan. Let us sit with brothers and talk to them about the issues of the community, Ya Ikhwan, because I can't build the community by myself. The masjids are built, but now we have to build the people, Ya Ikhwan. I need help. You need help. 
The children need help. The women need help. Sometimes I'm high. Sometimes I'm low. Sometimes my, my head is in it. Sometimes my head is not in it, ya akhwan. Due to different things. But when I'm weak, you pull me up. And when I'm strong, I should pull you up. Because we have to be Muslims by choice and not Muslims by chance. With that, my dear brothers, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal by His greatest name, Al Ism Al Some say it's Hayil Qayyum. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us strong Muslims. Muslims by choice and not Muslims by chance. To make us people who choose to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet and people who choose to try to, do, to die on La ilaha illallah, Muhammad al Rasulullah, Yahwan. This year I've seen many people die, Yahwan, have not been able to go to a lot of janazas. But I know my time is coming, brothers. And I've been sitting and I've been thinking for a long time, am I ready? Am I ready to meet Allah? And that's a khutbah within itself. Hopefully somebody better than me can come and talk about meeting Allah because it's the greatest meeting that you'll ever have. More important than sitting in front of the judges or the businessmen or, or your future spouse's husband or wife's father or mother. It's the biggest meeting coming and are we ready for that? With that, Aqima Salat, Walihamakallah. We ask our brothers as I choose to let my brother leave the Salat because he is better than me. Wa akhira dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, Hayya ala salah, Hayya ala al falah, Qad qamat salah, Qad qamat salah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Stau staqimu yarhamukum Allah, Sadar Khalad. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm <coughs> 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 الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لنيسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله 
Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Malik, Yawm, Din. Iyaka, Na'budu, Wa Iyaka, Nasta'in. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغوب عليهم ورب الضالين أمين هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لساعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مسفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمصيطر إلا من تولى وكثر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إنا إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله 